Hi there, welcome to my video on the new Thinkific and Zoom integration for teaching live courses and or webinars. In this video, I will show you how to connect your Zoom account into your Thinkific school so that when students are uh, taking your course, they can directly connect to the actual Zoom video rather than you having to add a link and then having students go through the extra step to get into the video and or a webinar. So let's get started. So let's just say I'm in uh, my course and in my curriculum, it's important to be in the curriculum tab. I want to start out by adding a lesson and I want to look for this live beta uh, feature. Now this will be available for all users uh, until December of 2020, but uh, for now, uh, after December, 20, December 31st, 2020, it will be available for users on the pro plan and up. And this is just a great option if you're teaching live uh, because you're making it a lot easier for students and for yourself to directly connect to the Zoom webinar or Zoom video. So I'm going to click on the live beta. And then you'll see here uh, live lessons are offered on pro plans, but available on all three plans until December 31st, 2020 to help uh, businesses adapt during these uh, global crisis. Uh, then you'll see there's a live lesson and Zoom integration. So this allows you to schedule a live lesson using Zoom meetings or Zoom webinars. And so the first thing I'm going to do is click on this connect Zoom button. And it will take me to this site. And I'm going to log in with my Zoom account. And so the process is pretty smooth. I'm going to click on the account that I have in Zoom. And then it will ask me, do I you know, approve um, a, a Zoom? and to connect with my Thinkific account. Uh, if I say pre-approve, I click on pre-approve. And then once that's done, I do need to finish the process by clicking on authorize. And once that's done, we'll look back into my dashboard. And now you'll see, okay, remember that if you uh, use the personal meeting ID uh, that so one of the things about Zoom that's important to know that they've uh, listed here about this feature is that make sure that when you're scheduling these Zoom meetings that you uh, do not use the personal meeting ID. The reason why they mention that is that because there has been some security issues within Zoom uh, when people give out their personal meeting ID. So in an effort to protect your account and protect the security of your uh, platform, uh, they don't advise you using the personal meeting ID. Uh, the best way is to schedule the meeting within Zoom, enable a password, and so that students can only access it with this password. That will ensure that your account is not just open to everyone, but specifically people who are registered and signed up for your course. Uh, they also, uh, as a suggestion in terms of security, uh, recommend that you disable only authenticated users can join meetings. Uh, the idea is that they want to make it a kind of a one-stop shop for your students to sign up and connect to a webinar or con connect to a live session. So if you disable that, that will just make the process much smoother so that there isn't any confusion when someone tries to sign up and uh, log in and find out that they're not considered an authenticated user. So uh, you can see the instructions uh, if you have any questions, but let's just go uh, back to our uh, setup here. And so I will say uh, live, give my uh, live lesson a live coaching session. And then I will give my topic and say, uh, go um, address questions and answers related to uh, launching a pre -sale, uh, your pre sale of your course. I can give it some text like, this uh, live coaching session is intended to answer any final questions, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not just, you know, just, just to put some text. And so if it's a meeting, like a live coaching session, I would just use meeting. And if it's a webinar where I'm going to use the webinar to drive traffic to the actual sale, to get people to sign up for the actual product, then I would uh, click on the webinar. And then I love that this feature allows me to set the time. So I'll just say, pick a date in the future, pick a time, and then I can uh, add the meeting password in here. And then what uh, I highly recommend of these features is to record the meeting because uh, people who may not be able to join the live session 
can then rewatch the replay later on. And then I would disable the enable join before host and instead enable the waiting room. So the benefit of this is that, you know, you don't start the live coaching session until you're ready. And this just makes it a more smoother and more positive experience. And so once this is done, I can hit save. And now uh, every time I'm ready to launch this, then I can directly go and click on the start meeting uh, to initiate the meeting from Thinkific, initiate my live coaching session or initiate my webinar instead of having to go into Zoom and starting it. The idea is I do everything within Thinkific and it makes it not only an easy one-stop shop for myself, but it also makes it a very seamless experience for my students. So I hope it helps and I hope that you uh, play around with this live uh, Zoom integration in Thinkific and let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks again.